1.2e, operations with integers, adding with different signs. In the first example, we have negative 2 plus 4. These two numbers have different signs, with the 2 being negative and the 4 being positive. To visualize, we could show the negative 2 as two negative symbols and therefore show the positive 4 as four positive symbols. We know that a positive and a negative would essentially cancel each other out. Therefore, two of the sets would be gone and it would result in two positives left over or just the answer of two. To visualize this in the next problem, it is showing that I have a positive one or one positive, and then it is showing that I have three negative symbols and that I need to combine these. The first positive and negative would cancel each other out and therefore leave you with two negatives. Another way to look at this is that you can remember the rule for adding with different signs, or in other words, combining with different signs. The saying that goes along with this is different signs subtract but you keep the sign of the larger number. What this is meaning is that if you look at the signs given to each number in the case of negative two and positive four, these signs are different. Therefore, we must subtract the two numbers from each other, which would be four minus two, resulting in the answer of two. The second part is to keep the sign of the larger number. We see that the sign on the four is positive, therefore giving us a positive two answer. In the second example, we see that we have a positive one and a negative three. After Getting rid of the double sign, we would have one minus three, which would still be a positive one and a negative three. Since these two numbers have opposite signs, we subtract them. Three minus one would give us two. The way we determine the symbol would be to take the sign of the larger number. Three is the larger number and its sign was negative. Therefore, the answer was a negative two. We will now look at this in two more examples. In example one, we have five plus a negative two. Once again, we have a double sign. We must address the double sign before solving the problem. When we have the double sign of a positive and a negative, this results in a negative. Therefore, the question is asking five minus two. Five is a positive number and two is a negative number. Therefore, they have different signs. When they have different signs, we must subtract and five minus two is three. We then keep the sign of the larger number. Five is the larger number and it is positive. Therefore, our answer is also positive. The answer to this problem is negative three. In example two, we see that we once again have double signs. When we have the double sign, we must address this first. Therefore, we bring the negative nine down. The two negatives become a positive and the four comes down. Now the question is asking, what is negative nine plus four? Since these two numbers have opposite signs or different signs, we know that we must start by subtracting them. We ask ourselves what is nine minus four, which gives us the answer of five. We then must determine the sign on this answer, 
so we see which number is larger, the 4 or the 9. Since the 9 is larger, we keep its sign. It was negative, therefore our answer is also negative. The answer to example 2 is negative 5. When combining numbers that have different signs, remember you must first eliminate any double signs and then proceed to combine them using the rule that if they have different signs you subtract and you keep the sign of the larger number.